Welcome back to Kitty Plays The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be the host of this episode. As you can see, this is a new recording. This is actually the third recording. And just as a heads up, I'm recording these way in advance because I can't stop playing and I won't play without recording. So actually I'm doing this third recording even before the first episode actually came out. So it is June the 10th right now and the first episode will come out is scheduled for Sunday I believe. It's either Sunday or Monday and um, I just can't stop playing so I'm going to record more episodes. Just bear that in mind when you comment. I won't be able to react to your comments. I might actually consider uh, recording using a live stream at some point, especially with games like Morrowind, which will create a lot of episodes because this is a very long game. But let's load up the game. This will also take a little while so I can talk a little bit. Or at least, usually it takes a while exactly in this stage. The game seems to be broken. Oh, actually it went rather fast. So last thing that happened, I can't remember that accurately, we are in the major Guild of Aldrun, we're standing in front of Edwina Elbert. I do remember that we had to talk to her uh, to get more quests, more duties, as Agir, Agir yes, said. Yes, what is it? Yes, Ed Edwina, I'm just uh, right now talking to the audience, just wait a little bit, bear with me. So, um, I'm going to use the feature of the quest log to see what we did last time and indeed we talked to Edwina Albert and she told us to get the copy a copy of the Dwarven book The Chronicles of the Shuleft and yes we can even within the journal we can even uh, click the the hotspots that we and, and get what the people told us so let's try and look around for that book Edwina I'm going to get that book for you now and I now remember that before we stop, the last thing that I told you, she's walking around quite erratically, I'm going to get out of her way. Um, I just remember that um, I tried doing some, some alchemy, and so I'm going to show you the result of that. So I used up a few of the components, I actually did sell all of the components where we had like 20, 30 or 50 of them uh, just to be not that uh, buried un under all the stuff anymore. So I did manage to do some very cheap potions, po potions, only a few actually because the alchemy skill is very low. As you can see it's 20 at the moment and the progress towards skill increase, I managed to get that up to 47%. But anywho, I think we should stick to training alchemy with an actual trainer for now and try to get that book so i'm going to ask that the lady behind that what seems to be an altar my time she... is precious so make it quick go ahead stranger yes valak trazo my name is nighty i'm new in the guild and edwina tells me to find a rare book might you know anything about it, it seems like i can't ask her about the book but she says that she's also a priest and I'm going to ask her a bit about Morrowind lore which only gets me a, little, a short little text. Morrowind used to be free farmers and herders and fishermen ruled by great houses and their noble councils but since the imperial occupation the Dunmer are more dependent on trade and industry. Okay that's very interesting but I'm still trying to find said book maybe Quickly, Outlander. I haven't much time. Let me real quick check the journal journal again. So she doesn't say doesn't say much. She said that none of the major skill branches have a copy. Maybe we can try some. Also, it's, she gave me two hundred and fifty septims. I think that's basically the price, but we do have enough money to buy it. So I'm going to check in Balmora with the bookseller. So I'm going to check with the booksellers, maybe they know where to find that book. So the thing is that you need to check for someone who has 
the um, specific topic here or even it might even be that the game doesn't even give you any hints that means you need to basically check all the booksellers barter with them and scan their inventory check which books are laying around where so this game doesn't give you as many hints as the following games uh, definitely so let's quick travel to Balmora first the place that we already know and yes I'm doing this yes what is it on purpose I am trying to keep you from seeing Aldrun for now this is why I kept inside the major Guild. I plan to when we go and visit Aldrun actually I am going to walk there manually once so I I've think I'm a going lot. to do other quests first here in the area before I actually move over to Aldrun but let's check Balmora which takes a bit more time to load than usually I think it is because we were in Aldrun speak traveler and we I do remember over here is a bookseller hello ma'am I'm looking for a specific I'm waiting book. So do you, by any chance, and as I thought, the booksellers have this topic, do you by any chance have the Chronicles of Nutsche left? Yeah, I might have one I could sell you. I've been trying to make copies of this rare book. If I don't have one at the moment, try Jobasha's rare books in Vivek. Okay, I'm going to check if you have it. It's weird that she doesn't know what books she has, but I think this is basically an engine thing. So let's see what books she has. ABCs for Barbarians, Adra and Daedra, Biography of Berencia, 1, 2, 3, Brief History of the Empire, Children of the Sky, there it is, Chronicles of Nisholeth. Of course he wants it a bit more gold than it is worth. I'm going to try to barter a bit, and it was successful. There we go, we have the book for Edwina, and we're going to give, give it her, give it to her, simple as that. Outlander, what do you want? <coughs> I hope you held you, you cuffed into your elbow. And today I actually How interesting. hopped right. Yes, what is it? Let me see about spells. Just, I'm going to look at these spells a lot more often, especially when I got more money. Um I hopped straight on in front of the PC and started recording right after heading upstairs from the home office. I'm actually still dressed in my work attire. And yes, it is a good idea when you're in the home office to actually dress up into work attire. Yes, what is it? Because that's a psychological thing. Um, it helps you, your mind switch back from between work and free time. So I should have changed, but I didn't. That's actually a bad thing. Well, let's give her the chronics of Mitchell left. You actually found a copy. Excellent. Now give the book to me. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving you the book. I'm impressed, associate. I hope you're always this efficient. I actually misread it at first. I read this different. And I think this book is one that we, since it's very rare, we might not even be able to read it later. Again, even when I say I'm, I'm recording these way in advance, if you want me reading the books, which will be a separate series, um, this will be something that Kitty reads or something, uh, then just put it into the comments because I might start a, sec a second series about that. Although, as I said, it might be way after the, the reaction time will be way longer. Okay, let's see. Do you have any more duties for me? Maybe? been waiting for ages to get a Detect Creatures pro potion from Sink Skink in Tree Shade in Sedrith Mora. It's simply taking Skink in Tree Shade forever to finish it. Go to Wolverine Hall in Sedrith Mora and bring the potion back to me as soon as Skink is finished. Okay, I can I can easily do that because Sedrith Mora is Skink. This is also a major skill. Which means I don't need to find that place. I can simply ask Arendel here to teleport me over to Sedrith Mora. And 
This is the major guild in yes, Severith Mora. It's just this simple little room. And Skink in Trees Shade is usually like these these type of names are usually Argonian names. The so this finest must be him and and I to him. What do you right ask here. of me? Mm -hmm. So, Skink, where is this Detect Creatures potion you were supposed to work on? Yes, of course, Soft Skin. Take this potion back to Edvina, along with my apologies. Speak with me again next time you're here. I may have some duties for you, Associate. Thank you. I'm going to certainly bring this to Edvina. And yes, yes Khajiit, the major what do you want? Is usually, or is, is a lot of fetch quests. <laughs> But hey, I'm not complaining. They're easy. They do cost a little, a little bit of money if you use the teleportation. But that's nothing to worry about. So here's your Detect Creatures potion. Ah, at last, you've brought me the potion. Will you give it to me now? Yeah, here it is. Excellent. Why don't I give you a potion more useful to associate in the field? And I've got an exclusive potion of shadow. What about more duties? Sirya Lundwe in the Mage Skilled in Vivek has somehow acquired a copy of the Chimmer of Medium. What is the Chimmer of Medium? It's the sixth volume of Murrow Basul's Ancient Tales of the Dwemer. Most of the ancient tales are not truly Dwemer in origin, but this one may be an exception. It deals with some sort of golem or centurion. Would you be willing to borrow this book for me? Oh dear. She's asking us to steal from a fellow guild member. Remember, this can get us expelled, but, well, we'll do it for her. Thank you, Nighty. Cyrilon will probably keep the book near, near her in the Mages Guild on Vivek. Do whatever it takes to get the book and return it to me. If you're caught stealing, of course, it's a crime against the guild, so be careful and take these scrolls just in case. And we got two scrolls of Unduce's Unhinging, which means we can open what the What can box. I do for you, friend? So let's get back. Or rather, not back, but let's check. It's the Mage Skilled in Vivek that we need to go to. Let us port to the Mage Skilled in Vivek, another place that you may be able yes. to see now. And it's not. This woman has a spider on her chest. Well, whatever floats your boat, man. Um, so let's take a look around here. There's more to see here. There's actually this little alchemy lab over here with a book about the special flora of Tamriel. Doesn't give me any, but maybe she I'm listening. is an alchemist. She might be, but she can't train me. That's too bad. Anywho, I need to be going. I'm trying to let's have a look inside here. Ah, this is Sir Lombe. Hello. How man. interesting. A tourist. Yeah, I'm a major skill tourist. I'm touring through all the major skill. And I'm showing the, the, the of it all. Uh, yeah. These elves, I tell you. Well, this is the woman that has the book. Let's first look around a bit more. There is a Trebonius Artorius, the Guildmaster of Vivek, uh -huh, I'm just ahead. Tyram Gadar. It is not bad when you know a way around, Nighty. What are you looking for in Vivek? Well, actually, basically, I'm just looking for uh, looking around at the different guild houses. I'm not looking for anything in particular. I'm listening. This is a very nice display of flowers here. And, oh, this book actually gave us some alchemy, so it always pays to read the books. And I'm real quick just opening those books. Hmm. So I will only read items that we have only the opportunity to read once or something. So this is the entrance room, with Janet and Lean. Who has. who offers enchantments and scrolls, which is awesome. 
I don't need any spells for oh, you, thank you. Outlander, did you want something? And there is the spellmaker. And she doesn't offer anything at a lowly associate that I am. Which is a pity, but well, that's the thing, the way things go. Let's see about that book now. Ah, that's the dining hall. And there is the door to Cyril Lundwis quarters. Yes, I am. I'm basically constantly a little bit tired. Any time now. Is there this? I can open this door. And basically I'm trying to figure out if I can. But I'm too bad at sneaking, so I can't. Okay, so this is... Not now she can't see me anymore. And this is basically her chest. Maybe we can use a lockpick to open it. Complex for us. Let's equip that old dagger again. Well, that's why we have the scrolls of Anduzis unhinging, which we can select here. There are single use, and I think it was art already. The magic, and there we go. Now we can take this. Off. And since we're actually not a thief, we're just going to do the little errand and get back before we are noticed. Let's get back to our drone and give her the drone. So, the mages in the major skill are a bit weird. Um, Ajira was um, only thinking about the bed she made. She's also only thinking about her success, her progress in the guild, it seems. That's, to be honest, something that I personally don't think is morally acceptable. But let's say our character does, because I think our character will be a bit susceptible, I think is the word, uh, to dark arts. But um, we're going to try that later. First of all, we need to learn to be a mage at all. There is the book. Okay, and she has more duties. I've been distracted from my studies by several reports from Margan. Apparently there's some sort of disturbance at Hulin's hut. Hulin's hut? Who's that? Since Hulin is a member of the guild, we really ought to do something about the disturbance. I simply haven't had the time to do it myself. My research is in absolutely critical phase. Would you go to Margan and take a look for it for me? Uh, yeah, of course. Excellent, Nighty. Go to Margan. I'm sure someone there can give you further instructions. Take care of this for me, so I continue with my studies in peace. What can I help you with? Let's see if there is um, a major skill in Margan. If not, we need to actually figure out where this place is. And no, we cannot teleport to Margan. Now let us see if we can a specific place. This only Okay, there there is Silt Strider Service goes to Belmora, Knesis, Cool and Margan. And if we look at the map, we're up here. So basically, I'm going to check out. That was wrong. I want to actually use your services to get back to Almora and yes, what is it? pay a visit to the temple and enroll yes, Kaji? in the local temple. What do you want? As we've been told, we need to go to the temple here in Balmora to do so. And as I said, I plan yes. to be a member of the Mages Guild and the Temple. I also said at the beginning that I want to join House Red Orin, although I think I should join House Telvanim, because that's the Mages' house. 
and maybe that actually befits my character more. It's very misty. So let's go ahead to the temple and get our first quest there. Basically, that's how the, the system works. You are doing quests for all the different factions. Let's take a look around. So there is this little sleeping quarters here. Another sleeping quarters there with a nice guy, Island Freveren. Who offers also scrolls. It's also an enchanter. And let's take a look around. So there is this pit. Some shrines. that barter this seems to be the alchemist of the temple so yeah basically the al alchemy isn't isn't restricted to the major skill the same goes for enchanting so let's see what's upstairs seems like this is the heart of the temple <laughs> There's someone offering spells. That's awesome. Healing someone else is nice. Restore. So the temple has lots of um, restoration spells, which you can quickly um, recognize with the blue logo. Destruction is red. So the, the, the magic schools, there is the uh, girl I need to talk too about joining. The different schools of magic have different colored symbols, so let's join the temple. Yeah, I have a promising look. Perhaps we could use you. Do you wish to join, or shall you hear our doctrine first? I'm pretty sure that the doctrine is similar to the one of the major skill, but let's hear it. Our fourfold duties are to faith, family, masters, and all that's good. Perform holy quests and bring luster to the temple. Never transgress against your brothers or sisters in thought or deed, as well as we are one body. If you somehow fail to uphold these ideas, you must speak with the master of the patriarch to be cleansed of your wrongdoings. Still want to join? Yes, I am worthy. You are now a layman in the temple. Welcome, brother Nighty. I am one of the several masters you can get to to get your duties, and if you perform well, advancement in the temple it's not out of the question. So what about those duties? Before I give you any other duties, you must prove your faith by making the pilgrimage of the seven graces. Wait a second, the pilgrimage of the... That sounds familiar. Take this book, The Pilgrim's Path. It describes where the pilgrimage sites are. After you've completed these pilgrimages, speak with me again. I should warn you that while most of these are easy, the pilgrimages of Ghostgate and the ruddy men are most difficult. You may wish to do those last. Thank you very much. This is What is this about? Why so angry? I'm, I, I just accepted you. I'm going to do this pilgrimage. Don't be so angry with me. Yeah, Ashlanders are not the most welcoming folk. So let's... Uh, let me uh, continue talking about this. So... I'm going to, as I wanted to say, I'm going to do this pilgrimage and I'm going to actually read the parts in the book because they tell me what I need to do to do the pilgrimages. And this is the lower level of the temple. As you can see, there is Lara Omain, who also sells spells and spell making. Uh, that's, that's a spell that I want. The Mark spell basically um, create, as, as the name suggests, it creates a mark that you can then go back to using the spell uh, Recall, which is here, which I can't afford buying for now, learning for now. Okay. So these two spells can make me like save any point and then teleport back there. It's the third teleport spell in this game. Uh, the two interventions and mark slash recall, where I can specify the target destination myself. 
but for now let us check where we're going to go first and i do remember that we help one of the pilgrims go to this lake um and it actually is the first part of the pilgrimage the pilgrim must visit each of the shrines of the seven graces at each site the pilgrim must stand before the three-sided stone trilith and read the inscription to ease the pilgrim's task the temple has made this list of shrines along with directions and advice to pilgrims the blessings of each shrine last at least half a day shrine number one the fields of kumu shrine of humility here Lord Vivek met a poor farmer whose squar had died. The farmer could not harvest his muck without his squar, and he could not provide for his family or village. So the Lord Vivek removed his fine clothes and toiled in the fields like a beast of burden until the crop was harvested. It is at the fields of Kumu we go to pray for the same humility Lord Vivek showed on that day. The fields of Kumu are west of Suran on the north shore of Lake Amaya as you head towards Pelagiad. The shrine is between two rocks and most easily noticed while traveling east along the road. Elof's farm nearby has a small dock on the north bank of Lake Amaya. This is the only dock nearby which Elof kindly allows servants of the temple to use. It is customary to leave a portion of muck at the shrine to represent Vivek's humility. We go a portion of muck do we have this this is red meat but i think i remember that muck looks pretty similar so i'm going to head to the alchemist in the temple and get a portion of muck i think that was this person no that was the enchanter i should have noticed because it says enchanting Yes, this game is a little bit about remembering things correctly. What about her? Yes, there we are. Uh, let me see. No muck. The freshest ingredients in town. Let me head to the herbalist. So we can switch to the local map. And the alchemist is right next door, just up this little stairs, flight of stairs. And it should be here. Let's see if they have some muck for us. Oh, that's not where I wanted to go. I will listen out, Lander. Let's make it quick. You have some luck. There it is. And it does look different, but I now have one portion of luck. There we go. And now I'm going to head out and back to the fields of Kabu. Although we don't have to do the, to go the long and scenic road, which we did before, we can head rather straight on to it because it, because we just need to leave Belmora for Sidonine and then head towards Suran. Lizard friend or the lizard girl who walks around has actually left the city. Or oh, has left the city walls, that is. And our athletic skill increased again, which means we can. I think athletics means we can run better and faster. And I'd say that yeah I know you don't want to hear it and I actually also don't want to say it but I'm when looking at the recording clock it says 29 minutes and 59 seconds so this basically means that we're 
across the half hour now. And I should actually stop recording. I'm looking for a spot where we can stop the recording. And I think actually I'm going to do that here when we head towards Plaget and then from there towards Surin to get to the fields of Kumu. So I'm going to drop a little save in the Let's Play save game because this is also the only recording for now. Just wanted to pass some time right after work and I'll switch over to the dice and say bye-bye.